minutes. Well, first of all, ABC4's Brent Hunsaker is taking action for you. Better him than me. Live from Riverton with a few ideas on how to survive the cold air. Brent, are you surviving? Oh, I'm surviving just fine, as long as I don't have to stay out here too much longer. I've got tips for you, for your home, for your car. Let's start with the trunk. Now, these are things that you probably should have with you the entire winter. Uh, I'm talking about uh, some ice melt. Here you need a uh, change of clothing. Good, warm winter clothing, including boots, uh, first aid kits. And don't forget the cables. Tow cables and, of course, jumper cables. And there's also the rest of the car to talk about. Cars are vulnerable to the extreme cold. Take care of them by checking your tires. The cold can bring down tire pressure. Check your windshield wiper fluid. Check your radiator. Just make sure they only do this when it's cold. A test strip can tell you if you have the right amount of antifreeze. It's actually looking a little weak. And check your battery. We've had a lot of tow-ins for won't start frozen batteries, things like that. So the Frozen batteries? Frozen batteries. You figure a uh, properly charged battery is about 35% sulfuric acid, 65% water. When it gets low in state, the water goes up, the sulfuric acid goes down, your freezing point gets there, and then you have a frozen battery. Take care of your house by having routine furnace checkups. And if you've ever had trouble with frozen pipes tonight, before you go to bed, turn on the hot water faucet and leave it dripping. Hot is more prone to freezing or it'll freeze faster. And don't forget to take care of yourself. During cold snaps, emergency rooms see a lot of cases of frostbite. Specifically hands, and then we see some on the face, including the cheeks and the nose. And those are the big areas of concern when you get the cold and the wind. And it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long, a few minutes maybe, outside in this weather. Here are the warning signs. They develop pain. And then there's redness at the site, meaning the fingers, the cheeks, the nose, anything that's exposed to the air. Second of all, you develop some white patches, and it can turn a little harder. It's not so supple anymore. And those are indications of frostbite. And fortunately, guys, I don't think I have yet any of those symptoms. Live in Riverton, Brent Hunsaker, ABC4 News. All right, you're a trooper, Brent. Thank you. Good information. Get inside, get that hot chocolate in you, and warm up a little bit. Hmm. If you have a problem, you can't solve